Hey fans and subscribers, this is your host Joe on the Gaming for Insight channel with a guide on upgrading your local storage option on your MSI Claw 8 AI Plus, so to give you more storage and better temperatures. I went with the TimeTech 2 terabyte SSD option and I stayed within the 2230 form factor also. Additionally, I added a heat sink to the TimeTech SSD I installed which has improved temperatures by approximately 10 degrees Celsius based on my testing. With the new TimeTech SSD compared to the default one that comes with the Claw 8, I have higher read and write speeds as well. As with my other guides, if you are looking for more details on the process, testing I have done, and what you need for the upgrade and install, then check out my website. I am happy to say that I consulted with CPPC Tech and his insight on the planning for this SSD upgrade and heatsink application. Thank you CPPC Tech for helping me make this video possible. Okay, so with the introduction out of the way, let me guide you through improving your local storage option on your Claw 8. Before I show the installation and application of the SSD upgrade and heatsink respectively, let me talk about what you will gain. You gain improved temperatures and better read and write speeds. Conducting two separate tests using Crystal Disk Mark with different parameters and HW Info sensor data running, I noticed a 10 degrees Celsius decrease even with the higher read and write speeds on the upgraded SSD than compared to the stock SSD. I credit the added heat sink for the improved temperatures. I noticed a low 50 degrees Celsius temperature range then low 60 degrees Celsius temperature range. Next, I observed that the read and write speeds were increased on the upgraded SSD than the stock SSD, which was expected based on what I researched already. Read speeds improved up to approximately two gigabyte per second and write speeds improved approximately up to one gigabyte per second. I didn't see the maximum read and write speeds used in Crystal Dismark that are supported on the TimeTech SSD, but importantly, temp throttling was not responsible for that. Let me detail what you need to move forward with the install and upgrade. You need the MSI Claw 8 AI Plus and its power cord or a supported power cord for it. For the SSD of choice, CPPC Tech and I recommend the TimeTech 2 terabyte M2 2230 SSD. For the heat sink of choice, CPPC Tech and I recommend the Easy Cargo 20 millimeter copper heat sink kit that is 20 millimeter by 20 millimeter by four millimeter. You need a screwdriver that supports a Torx T5 or T6 or Philips PH0 or PH1 bit. You need a guitar pick or equivalent tool. You need an external storage option, one at least, for building a recovery drive that has at least two gigabytes. I have additional details on my website as well, including alternatives and what might help you during the Windows initial setup process. Before we get our hands on removing the backplate, we need to create a recovery drive so that you can install an image of Windows OS onto the upgraded SSD. Plug in your Claw 8 to power and launch from run, quote, recoverydrive.exe, end quote. You will see prompts to direct you through the recovery build process. I recommend checking the box for, quote, backup system files to the recovery drive, end quote. In doing so, this will make sure that MSI Center M is installed with the image that we will install through the use of the recovery drive. However, checking the box for this option will result in a longer process to create a recovery drive, over a couple of hours depending on what you have installed already even. The other option is to not check the box and then download MSI Center M from MSI Drivers and Downloads. See the links in the description of this video or on my website for that. I recommend backing up important files additionally on a separate external storage option, like another stick drive. Expect to reinstall your games as well, despite them being installed originally. Okay, now we can open up the Claw 8, power down the device, disconnect your power cord, disconnect what is now your recovery drive, rotate the Claw 8 to face the backplate, remove the six screws that fasten the backplate and keep them in an easily found place. Use a guitar pick or equivalent tool to separate the backplate be patient with this process and readjust your position if needed. Work slowly and work from left to right at the bottom and then slowly work your way up to the right trigger and bumper on the Claw 8, but stop there. Release it from the bottom upwards slowly and the back plate eventually separates fully and it did for me. Remove what is now the separated back plate. 
Let's now locate the stock SSD. The stock SSD is located on the right side of the claw eight from the back and is to the left of the right intake fan. Unfasten the screw that fastens the stock SSD. Keep the screw in an easily found place and don't confuse it with the six backplate screws. Remove the stock SSD and to do this, I position the stock SSD upward in part with an opening tool and then remove the stock SSD. Let's prepare the new SSD for install. We need to remove it from packaging. I remove the sticker on the side that I will apply the heat sink to. Note that the sticker on the SSD you are removing is not the one that has the label on it stating its storage capacity and the type of SSD that it is. This is a single sided SSD. So we are applying the heat sink to just one side. Remove one of the heat sinks from the four pack and remove the tape from the heat sink as well. Apply the side of the heat sink you remove the tape from to the side of the SSD you remove the sticker from. Ensure that the heat sink is placed on the new SSD firmly so to cover the side fully. If you complete this step correctly, you will not find an issue inserting the new SSD into the connection on the claw eight. Insert the new SSD in an upward position first and then slowly push inward and press downward until the new SSD is inserted nice and snug. Try not to use the heat sink to apply pressure in a certain direction so to not dislodge it. Refasten the same screw you originally removed before when removing the stock SSD. Now that the new SSD with applied heat sink is installed, we can refasten the backplate. You will want to press downward on the backplate to snap it into place. Next, refasten the six screws on the backplate you originally removed and rotate the claw eight. Okay, now we can begin the recovery process. Connect the claw eight to power and connect your recovery drive to the claw eight. You may want to tilt the claw eight upward for this next step. Press the power button. After doing so, immediately hold down the left trigger and left bumper. You can tilt the device downward to look at the screen, but make sure though that you keep your fingers pressed on the left trigger and left bumper. After seeing the MSI logo, you will enter into the recovery process. I recommend using the touch screen at this point. Choose your preferred keyboard layout. Next, for options to choose for the recovery process, choose quote, recover from a drive, end quote. Next, you can choose to quote, just remove my files, end quote, or, quote, fully clean the drive, end quote. I chose, quote, just remove my files, end quote. Do note, though, that the option, quote, fully clean the drive, end quote, will take longer since the formatting process is more extensive. You will see in the next window a list of the steps that will occur during the recovery process. Next, go ahead and press, quote, recover, end quote, on the mid to lower right-hand side to begin the recovery process. You will see two loading processes before you see the prompt to select your language. The Windows 11 setup steps ensue at this point. See the video description and my website for more information to help you walk through this if you need it. Once you get into Windows after the initial setup and you selected the box for quote, backup system files to the recovery drive, end quote, during the prior process to build a recovery drive, you will see an icon in start menu for MSI Center M installed. You will need to update MSI Center M after selecting the icon to open the program. I recommend following through a scan for updates in MSI Center M just in case too, while you are on the step, depending on the last time you built the recovery drive for this process. Note that if you did not choose to back up the system files for the recovery drive, you will need to download it from MSI Center drivers and downloads. Okay, so that wraps up this guide. Now you can get to installing more of your favorite games with expanded storage capacity. I hope to read about your experience in the comments and let me know if you have any questions too from this video or my online guide for this video on my website. I look forward to reading what you have to say. I should go.